In this video, we'll learn how to add a theme, add music, and adjust the audio and timing of your video. To add a theme, click on the theme tool off to the side. It'll give you many options. When you click on one, it'll give you a sampling of what that theme will look like when applied to your movie. Adding a theme to your movie will apply certain animations and transitions in your movie. Once you've selected one that you like, click on use this theme and it will apply that theme to your movie. You'll be able to see the big difference between a title text slide and a basic text slide when I preview my movie by pushing play. A title text slide will apply the animation from your theme in the background, like this. A basic text slide will just have a basic background. Now we will add music to our video. To add music, we'll need to switch to timeline mode so that we can see all the layers of our video. Here you see I have three options, three layers. The video one shows all of the visuals of my movie, my text slides and my pictures. The voiceover is where I recorded my narration. I want my narration to start when my first picture starts. So I'm gonna click and drag this piece to start when my first picture starts. Now that I have my theme, I can add music. To add music, click on your audio tab. Here you'll see three folders. You'll need to choose your music from the free music folder. Spend a few minutes clicking on each of the audio files to see which one you like and which one fits your movie. When you find one that you like, click and drag it to add it to your audio row. Make sure that you don't add it to your voiceover or it will get mixed up with your narration. Remember that your voiceover is your narration and your audio is your music. We want to make sure that our music is not overpowering our voice. So we're going to adjust the overall volume of our music down to about 18%. Another thing that you'll notice is that my narration causes my movie to be almost two minutes long, but my pictures and text slides are not that long. That means that I need to stretch my pictures. Right now, I can tell that each of my pictures is about three seconds long. So I'll need to go and adjust my pictures to make it so that they are longer. I can do this by switching back to storyboard mode. I can click on one of my pictures and by clicking and dragging, I can adjust the length of my picture here. Now I can see that I'm making it. Now I can see that I'm dragging my picture so that it goes from being 3.5 seconds long to about five seconds long. I'm gonna do this to each of my pictures. Once I've done this to all my pictures, I can go back to timeline mode and see if that lengthened my pictures. It does, but it's still not quite enough. I can see that I'm gonna have to adjust my pictures or add more to make my pictures match my narration. This is definitely a tricky part, but a couple tips to remember are when you look at each slide in your storyboard mode, the number down here in the bottom right hand corner is the number of seconds that that slide will last. So this slide, which says 06.040, really just means that it's a little over six seconds long. Once you've adjusted your pictures so that they match the length of your narration, you are ready to move on to the next step. 